When using the OptiFiber Pro OTDR, Fluke Networks recommends you use launch and tail cords. You should also use the launch tail cord compensation function to remove the lengths of these fibers from the OTDR measurements. Launch and tail cords let the tester measure the loss and reflectance of the first and last connectors in the cabling and also include them in the measurement of the overall loss. Without launch and tail cords, no backscatter is available before the first connector and after the last. To measure the properties of a connector, the tester must measure the backscatter before and after the connector. To set launch tail compensation, first tap the Tools button. Tap the Set Launch Compensation button. It's important to use a launch and tail cord when testing with an OTDR. The only way to measure the last connector's properties is to connect it to another fiber with similar properties. Therefore, we will choose the Launch and Tail option. Then tap Set. The tester will analyze the launch and tail cord properties. Ensure that the port connection quality is good. The connection between the launch and tail cords is both the launch and tail event because we've connected the two cords together. Tap Save. Tap OK to confirm saving the new values. Press the Home button. We're ready to run a test. The Data Center OTDR test mode is optimized for fiber installations that have short links, many connections, and the possibility of large reflections. Tap the Test Setup navigation panel. Tap New Test. Tap Data Center OTDR. Note that the Data Center OTDR defaults to only 850 nanometers for multimode fiber and 1310 nanometers for single mode fiber. These are the wavelengths typically used in data centers. Tap Save. Tap Use Selected. We're now ready to run the test. Tap Test. Make sure the port connection quality is good. If it's not good, the tester's ability to properly analyze the fiber may be impaired. The all-new event map feature eliminates the learning curve in reading an OTDR trace. OptiFiber Pro's advanced logic automatically interprets the trace information to create a detailed map that graphically depicts all connectors, splices, and anomalies with easy-to-understand icons. By tapping on any of the color-coded icons, red-green for pass-fail, we can view that event's summary information. We can view any event's details by tapping its Summary Information bubble. Tapping the Back button takes us back to the event map. Most OTDRs are designed for a myriad of applications causing the user interface to be difficult to navigate and interpret. OptiFiber Pro combines the latest gesture-based interface technology with a capacitive touchscreen to deliver the most innovative and user-friendly OTDR. To illustrate, we'll tap Trace. The trace itself should look familiar to experienced users, but both novice and experienced users will admire the advancements made in ease of trace manipulation. Tapping the arrow next to events will move the cursor to the next event on the trace. Using a reverse pinch gesture will zoom the trace at the location centered between the two fingers. Dragging a finger across the screen moves the trace in the direction of the finger drag so that events of interest may be centered. Tapping the yellow bubble on the cursor activates the fine positioning arrows and the mark button. The mark button sets the marker and dragging the cursor allows manual measurements to be made with the cursor readout at the bottom of the trace. Double tapping the trace will unzoom the trace. The auto OTDR test mode 
automatically selects settings that give you the best combination of test time, dynamic range, and resolution. It provides the best view of the events on the cabling. This mode is the easiest to use and is the best choice for most applications. Previous test we ran was using the data center OTDR setting. We need to tap the test setup navigation panel to change the test setup. Tap Auto OTDR and tap Use Selected. Now simply tap Test and the tester will determine the best setting to use for the fiber under test. Make sure the port connection quality is good. If it's not good, the tester's ability to properly analyze the fiber may be impaired. The all new event map feature eliminates the learning curve in reading an OTDR trace. OptiFiber Pro's advanced logic automatically interprets the trace information to create a detailed map that graphically depicts all connectors, splices, and anomalies with easy to understand icons. By tapping on any of the color-coded icons, red-green for pass-fail, we can view the event's summary information. We can view any event's details by tapping its summary information bubble. The event's loss measurement and margin details are shown first. Tapping reflectance allows us to view the reflection measurements and tapping segment attenuation shows the measurement of the fiber segment prior to the event. Tapping the back button takes us back to the event map. Now we'll go back to the trace. Most OTDRs are designed for a myriad of applications causing the user interface to be difficult to navigate and interpret. OptiFiber Pro combines the latest gesture-based interface technology with a capacitive touchscreen to deliver the most innovative and user-friendly OTDR. The trace itself should look familiar to experienced users, but both novice and experienced users will admire the advancements made in ease of trace manipulation. Tapping the arrow next to events will move the cursor to the next event on the trace. Using a reverse pinch gesture will zoom the trace at the location centered between the two fingers. Dragging a finger across the screen moves the trace in the direction of the finger drag so that events of an interest may be centered. Tapping the yellow bubble on the cursor activates the fine positioning arrows and the mark button. The cursor may be moved by dragging it to the desired location. The mark button sets the marker and dragging the cursor allows manual measurements to be made with the cursor readout at the bottom of the trace. Double tapping the trace will unzoom the trace. The optional Fiber Inspector USB video probe connects to the OptiFiber Pro tester to allow inspection of end faces in fiber optic connectors. The probe lets us see dirt, scratches, and other defects that can cause unsatisfactory performance or failures in fiber optic networks. Connect the probe to the USB port on the side of the tester and make sure the correct tip is on the probe. From the home screen, tap Tools. On the Tools menu, tap Fiber Inspector. Scale rings are provided for multi-mode and single-mode fibers. We can manually grade the cleanliness of the fiber by tapping Grade Image. 